This bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seems just a few steps ahead. After many trials and tribulations, Geralt finally learned that Yen was in nearby Vizima. The gentleman will address the Emperor only when asked to, and using the appropriate title. Your Arch Magnificency. I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the Emperor might not share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. In Grimmy et Art Kerzer. Dyfen Aden in Karn eb Marvut, Emir var Emreis. Bow. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer ep do orde. Avelian namen vat gern favort. So many months at Faltest Court, yet you still haven't mastered the basics of etiquette. Know what they say? Can't teach an old wolf new tricks? Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter Cyrilla, she's returned, and she's in danger. The Wild Hunt pursues her. You will find her and bring her to me. Are you sure? Siri left, went far, far away. Do you believe I'd drag you here in the middle of a war to discuss a rumor? I think anyone can be wrong, even an emperor. I had forgotten how insolent you can be. I haven't the time to convince you, nor the desire, in fact. Yanafu will do that, after the audience. How many men in your army? Twenty thousand? Thirty? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me, yes. So tell me why you're looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. Save your generosity for those whose homes your armies have raised. I'll do it for Siri. Not for your gold. Your motives do not interest me. Only results. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meririd! Take him to the sorceress. Did I not emphasize adequately that one must bow to the Emperor? Relax. Nothing happened. To the gentleman. I shall be punished. How? Oh. Please keep close and bother no one. We've had enough pictures of etiquette for one day. What? Do you know who you're talking to, soldier? I'm oh. Hedefard, the second prince of Elanca. Not only am I made yeah. to wait here like some Amen. supplicant, Radslieben, <laughs> 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 
Clyde. Kin wed Brainer gar und selbst denkt er. Es sind Lenten auf Nordmacht. Und selbst ich den Sigler. Gasper Kemp. Once the gentleman is done, he should see me to retrieve his possessions. Yes? Then transcribe. The true authority in Novigrad is not the city council or the merchant's guild. Geralt, that tunic. You look positively smashing. Ugh, dying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. Now do you understand why I'm at Amir's court? Uh-huh. And seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back? No chance he's mistaken? Look, that's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. So they're our agents now? My, my. You've clearly settled in quick. Geralt, don't twist my words. I know who Emir is. He started this war and its bloodshed. He had my friends killed. But I haven't any other choice. So please, let's not belabor the pros and cons and instead focus on finding Ciri. All right? Right. Emir said the Wild Hunt's after her. I'd find that hard to believe, before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Ciri. Using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the Wild Hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but... I thought I'd tricked them. Well, guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me, for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. You must find her, Geralt. Before the Wild Hunt does. The Wild Hunt? What could it want from Ciri? I've no clue, Geralt. Might have written them to ask, but I don't have their address. I know as much as you do. It must be about her blood. Her gift. As for what the hunt wishes to do with that gift, I... I prefer not to think about it, really. So where's Ciri been seen, exactly? In two places. Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Tris Merigold. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skellige. There was a magic explosion there recently, blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Ciri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. One thing before we go. Why didn't you contact me? Didn't need me? Didn't even want to see me? I didn't want to spoil things. I'd heard you and Triss made a great couple. Yen, I'd lost my memory. Really? That's your excuse? Let's drop it, all right? It's not what you think, or it helped me understand how much I love you. I don't wish to hear it, any of it. This means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Vell and get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback, as soon as I can get changed. 
Have it your way? Oh, and you really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roamed the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Vartra. That's him over there. And Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me, in one piece. I shall be waiting. healed nicely. Shame I have no time. Ambassador Varatra, Yennefer suggested I ask you about current events, the war and so on. Of course. The Emperor's servants should keep no secrets from each other. If you will, let us approach the map. How's the war going? I mean, apart from the fact that Nilfgaard's triumph is imminent. I assume this to be a private conversation. We've no witnesses, so let's dispense with the propaganda, even that shrouded in irony. Our offensive was going splendidly until winter came. Edurn was in such disarray that we encountered no resistance. We had reached the Pontar before the first snows. Only a weakened Kedwin remained and Radovid's Redania, which had ignored the rest of the North's pleas for help. We thought they'd sue for peace, perhaps even submit to vassalization. We waited for spring, certain of victory. Radovid? Submit? Yes, a vain hope, I agree. Radovid sent no peace envoys, nor did he advance on our positions. Instead, he trudged over the snow-bound Kestrel Mountains and attacked Kedwin his ally. This attack took the Kedweni by surprise. They were still mourning the loss of their king. Rudderless and dejected, they laid down their arms after a few lost skirmishes and joined Radovid. And so by spring, instead of two weak enemies, we had only one powerful one.
That admiration I hear in your voice? Radovid is our foe, but I cannot deny he is clever. He played us for fools, particularly dense ones at that. Returning to the war, this spring there was a massive battle in the marshes of Velen. Massive, yet indecisive. Both sides suffered enormous losses, unprecedented even. Radovid has retreated across the Pontar. He's safe for now, until reinforcements arrive from the south. Then Emperor Emir Var Emrys will deal with him once and for all. Couldn't you just go home? Save everyone a lot of marching, not to mention a few human lives. I'm afraid the stakes are too high to fold now. We can only go all in. Hmm. How do things look in Velen? As bad as ever. Perhaps worse. This land never flowed with milk and honey, and now it flows with blood. Armies have swept through it several times. Trampling fields, looting granaries, burning villages. Famine grips the populace. Mm hmm So how's ruling that earthly paradise going for you? Not well, to be honest. Our forces are spread thin as it is, and Velen is chiefly swampy forests that are difficult to control. We've had several patrols never return to their camps. Thus, we've temporarily delegated authority in this region to a certain Nordling, a former low-ranking officer in the Temerian army, one Philip Strenger, better known by his nom de guerre, the Bloody Baron. I advise you well, avoid him. Any news from Novigrad? Is the free city still free? Yes, although everyone knows this won't last. Radovid is in Oxenford, and the Emperor is here, in Vizima, at Novigrad's doorstep, both. And both require coin and ships, and Novigrad can provide these. Which is why the mood in the city is... rather... well, on edge. Meaning? How do men deal with fear? They seek reassurance and scapegoats. The Church of the Eternal Fire understands this perfectly, and so it promises to improve the lives of its flock by pointing out the guilty. Who started the war? Who profits from it? Why, it's obvious. Mages, elves, dwarves, in a word, any and all deviants. I've been stationed in Novigrad for 13 years. First as a consul, then as ambassador. I've seen a great deal. Cruelty, cynicism, greed. But what is happening there now concerns me greatly. What's new in Skellige? Nothing. The islanders pride themselves on that, don't they? Doing everything according to tradition, as their forefathers did. And like their forefathers, they quarrel with each other. Pillage. Occasionally attack our transports. This is cumbersome, but nothing more. Skellige has always been a footnote to history, and so it shall remain. Sound awfully confident. What if King Bran manages to unite the Jarls? Lead all the clans against your fleet? King Bran is a feeble old man. From what I know, he barely remembers the names of his own vassals. Uniting all might prove difficult. Thanks for your help. Think nothing of it. May the great sun light your path.
How might I serve the gentleman? By returning my things. Citrus and cloves. The fragrance will keep the gentleman's robes fresh somewhat longer. Hmm. Thanks, Bunches. The Emperor is not known for his patience. He wants his daughter back safe and sound, as soon as possible. Yeah, mention something of the sort. So long. I hate Brigade. You're kind. Non humans. She cannot to be a desert of a sky of tank. Wouldn't mind a few rounds of cards.
a few rounds of card.
then I'd fail. Geralt and Yennefer were reunited, but something even more important happened in Vizima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar, and she was in danger. He was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest. Showed on market days, loaded with all the way down, smoke windows, lard, and all the way down, the door frame. Thank you. 
Is attacked. One from either side. Cavalry swooped in from the wood. Step away. Chaplain Cry. Do not cast a man. Take it easy. All may draw from the well of the eternal fire's grave. Approach. What do you want? Rejoice. For even a creature as depraved and base in nature as you can serve the glory of the eternal fire. Someone must see to the corpses on the battlefield. Necrophages defile those not already rotting in mass graves. This is not right. That's to be my good deed for the day. A handsomely profitable one, I might add. I know your kind don't work for free. All right, I'll take care of it. This will count amongst your merits. The more good one works in life, the more hallowed things are. Yes, splendid. Here are the holy oils. Dash generously and set alight, understood? I wish it to flare up to the sky, for the glory of the eternal fire and all that. Once I've incinerated the bodies, where will I find you? I shall be near the bridge to Novigrad. Stinks like a mass grave.
shot of Igni. That's it, Roach. If it ain't that fucking priest, it's corpse eaters. I'm done with this damn town. A priest? We'd agreed to meet as usual, just a larger delivery. Good customer, I thought. Then they whipped out blades. We still talking about a priest of the eternal fire? I'd say so. Beat stained pricks can't be trusted. This one had ordered premium grade fist tech from me three times, everything perfect. But the fourth, his man came at us with knives, sought to knock us out of trade. Shoved me in that ditch with the corpses. Must have thought the ghouls would take care of the rest. And to make sure, he hired a witcher to burn the bodies, destroy any evidence. A witcher? Meaning you? So what now? Nothing. Didn't pay me to burn the living. Oh, thank the gods, it's true what they say. Though mutants, you live by a code. Oh, thank you, Witcher. Now for a shot of Igni. Thank you. 
Well, Witcher, have you completed your task? Why do you priests take an interest in the Fallen so late? The Church of the Eternal Fire's first duty is to the living. You've no notion of the work we did just after the battle. The wounded needed tending, refugees, pastoral care. We had sermons to deliver, donations to collect. Relieved to hear it. What would the people have done without you? So, took care of the graves. Interesting, actually. One of the corpses proved to be quite, well, alive and pretty talkative. What do you mean? Fistek dealer. One of them survived. Had an awfully interesting story to tell. Hmm. Intriguing. I would purchase this story from you. For all time. Exclusively. Deal. Take this and get out of my sight. Ooh. Come on. Jacko! Hanner, go home now! I'll not give her up! Not on me life! They hear us squealing! They'll kill us and take them out all the same! So I'll slaughter her myself! Hide your corpse naked the floor! Those bastards won't have! Looking for a man goes by Hendrik. What do you want with him? Want to talk to him. What about? Give me a bottle of something strong. You gotta go. I'll open the back way for you. Got company. Who is it? In Cape Vorka. Who's this? A brave warrior looks like. Got two swords, see? Oi, great boy. What's the point of having two swords? 
Wonder if he keeps an extra prick in his trousers too. You fucking deaf. Gonna say who you are? Or do I need to loosen your tongue with me knife? How about I buy everybody around? Why would you? Got the coin for it. Simple as that. I don't drink with strangers. When we share around, won't be strangers anymore. Then we go our separate ways. And which way might yours be? On my way to Novigrad. City of whores and whoremongers. To your health, and mine. Bottoms up! If you want to rest, come with me. On the bench you can use. I step in the hut, and there's the bumpkin with what looks like his son. That's on the pretty side, I think, of himself. I see, probably disguised his daughter. <laughs> Horsons always manage to hide their lasses. Thanks for not starting a row with those swine. I don't generally poke my nose in other people's business. Looking to stay the night? No. Hmm. I'm looking for Hendrik. Man lives in Heatherton. Don't know where that is. Other side of the hill. Looked that away this morning and saw a strange glow. Imperials on the raid, perhaps. But who knows? Anything else you can tell me about Hendrik? Odd fellow. Arrived from who knows where and for no apparent reason. Shacked up with a widow whose husband was stabbed for a scrap of bread. Baron's men don't like strangers. Aye, he stays out of their way. Always seems to know when they're coming. Always manages to disappear. Thanks, Inkeep.